Mabu, hey, it's Desmond. And Lucretia. And welcome back to the channel. Woo. We are here to discuss Drag Race Philippines, season one, episode eight, twinning. I believe it was a really good episode. Woo. It was a really good episode. But I cried we, a lot. <laughs> before we get into it. I just want to remind everyone to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thank y'all so much for the love that y'all been giving the Drag Race Philippines review. We really do appreciate it. We really do love every single one of y'all. And we'll love for y'all to join the family. So go ahead and hit that comment. Not the comment, but the subscribe button. But go ahead and like and leave us a comment, honey. That's one thing about the Philippines. There's always great conversation going on in the comments. So let's continue that. So thank y'all so much. So. Twinning, the makeover challenge. What did you think of this episode altogether? It was a good episode. It really was. Like, it took me a minute to watch it because you know Philippines has its its dead points in the episode, mm -hmm. so I get distracted doing something else, and then something important will happen. I'll be like, oh wait, 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 <laughs> go back and watch. I've been it. doing good these past <laughs> couple of episodes. You know, for a while there, it, it was struggling for me to get through them. But these past few ones, honey, I just blink and I'm like, oh, wait, we're over. It's, it's already been an hour and a half. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. But yeah, um, there's, but I do disagree with some of the placements that we got this week. I feel like some queens were given a pass when other queens should not have been given a pass. But we'll get into it. So let's go ahead and share this here, screen. Honey, and let's pop it up. So, right after Vinyas Deluxe's elimination, the queens are coming in, and Eva is torn. Precious Paula Nicole is torn, honey. They are hurt that Vinyas is gone. Mm -hmm. But you know, she was such a big presence in the room. Like she was, she was the heart of this season, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So I can imagine just being there and feeling that emotion. Everybody was hurt, but Silhouette was disappointed mm -hmm. that Venus did that performance. And it makes me wonder, did the other queens know about her ankle? I don't think so. I don't think she said anything. Because, you know, they were all, no, because they no, because she said something on the main stage, remember, during the critiques, and Silhouette was there. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I think like, Silhouette just kind of forgot that part or expected more out of her regardless of and everybody's like oh she's the best lip syncer we've ever met but honey if you have an ankle injury you really can't do much mm -hmm. so and even I believe one of them even said she gave up and I'm like no no she did not give up no I don't think she gave up she did what she could do with the ankle support that she had right now, if she would have had a 100% ankle, she probably would have wore Eva out. Probably, but Eva was really turning it in that lip sync, honey. She was. But yeah, that, that kind of bothered me. Um, they congratulated Minty on getting her second win. Uh -huh. And Bridgeting, once again, is just having a hard time finding her place in this competition. She feels like she should have been lip syncing during this uh, past episode. And it just, it really hurts to watch, you know, the show break her spirit. Uh -huh. Because, you know, during the early uh -huh. part of this season, there were times where I thought she should have been in the top. Now, should she have won those challenges? No. But she should have been in the top. She should have been acknowledged. And it, it just felt like they were like, mm, yeah, you thought you were something. Now look at you. That's the way I'm taking it. it taking humbling to a completely different. Yeah, like they're trying to humble her. And I just, it just, it didn't, maybe I'm reading it wrong. Let me know in the comments mm -hmm. down below what you think of this situation. But for me, it feels like they were trying to humble her when she really didn't need it, in my opinion. She wasn't coming in over the top, like, yeah, I'm going to whoop y'all, y'all's asses. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. she came in ready to go and have a good time. And it's just, I don't know, just, it really felt like they were trying to humble her, as you said. Yeah break her yeah in the worst possible way but remember Bridgeting, they can't break your soul remember that they did this cute little group hug <laughs> <laughs> this was the whole reason i got this because marina every time she got to do group, some group like activity 
just at this point crown her like just crown her <laughs> like right now i don't see anybody else who could possibly take the crown maybe silhouette but we'll get into that a little bit later so it's the next day in the workroom uh they're talking about how there's only half of the queens remaining and we got to see miss minty with her two badges the first queen with two badges this season okay. Go ahead, go ahead. And I like that. We're on episode eight and we're just now having the queen with the first two badges. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I like that. The winds have been, you know, dispersed out a little better. Right. But that also just means that the talent that they have, that we have, we're eight episodes in and we're just now getting the double badge. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But me and Mama Powell walks into the room and it is time. For the real challenge. The most interesting outfit. Yeah, this was an interesting choice. Interesting. But it's the reading challenge. And we have a special message from Patrick Starr. And Mm -hmm. it was going off great. But then, uh uh-oh, we started having technical difficulties. But Patrick was there. (laughs) I thought that was cute how they did all that. I'm like, now we know that Patrick was there because we saw Patrick in the previews. But right. that was a really cute moment there. And I was like, all right. All right. So I had to sell it for somebody. Yeah. So in the grand uh, tradition of Paris is burning, the library was officially open because reading is what? Fundamental. Yes. Now she handed out some makeup, which I thought that was cute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, here you go. You get makeup. You get makeup. Pick- you get a makeup and you get a lipstick. Pick- I should start buying some of their brand. Them and kimchi. Uh, Pit group brought out the reading glasses and the challenge began. Don't don't worry. You don't have to say anything. Trash, trash, trash. Thank God Eva was there. Right, right. Oh my goodness! I laughed. <laughs> and baby, I love how she was reading them in the confessional while they were doing their reads. She's like, she's so dry. Like that's it. Like wh- where's the read? I'm like, oh. right. Uh, I yes. am slowly falling for Eva Laqueen more and more each week. Thank, thank God she was there because trash and trash now silhouette did have one funny joke i can't remember it yeah, off the top she, of my head she had one or two I, I, I did funny chuckle. moments i did chuckle i'm like okay silhouette that was funny um but mama pal and patrick star announced that the winner was eva the queen hand down because everybody was just so bad mm-hmm. like honestly if it wasn't for eva i would oh my goodness it would have been worse would have to cut the the uh reading challenge like they did with season 12 um, uh, but Mama Pal announces that we're doing the makeover challenge this week and they're going to be joined by their loved ones mm-hmm. so I'm like I love when they get the makeover of family and friends I'm always mm-hmm. here for that so up first we have Marina Summers her sister joined us I don't know why I have that screen oh her best friend Eva LaQueen's best friend I was like wait mm-hmm. Bridgeting was joined by her cousin. John Paul. Silhouette was joined by her partner. Joe, he's so tall. I was like, okay. Well, taller than Silhouette. I'll say that. Taller than Silhouette. <laughs> and it was it was a really gorgeous. Cute that was a really cute moment. I'm like, oh. Mm-hmm. I'm like, look at this. If this would have happened earlier, I would have been like, ugh. Because, you know, I've been warming up Silhouette as the season has come along. Right, because I'm, yeah, I was like, like, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm like, this is cute. This is cute. Um, Precious Paula got her brother, John Carl. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This right here was. Just their story on the main stage, just. It had me. I'm not going to lie to you. And then Minty Fresh was joined by her sister. Now, Miss Minty was not happy at first. Right. I don't think she ever got happy, honestly. I I think she did towards the end. Like, you could tell, like, when they were getting into makeup, she's like, there's nothing I could do about it now. 
So let's just focus and let's have it. But there's a difference between being happy and being resigned. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Because, you know, they shot this during the height of the pandemic. You know, there's still parts in this world that is heavily affected by Mm COVID-19. And um, the mother is elderly. The sister has started a new job. So she really didn't want anybody from her household there because she didn't want to possibly expose her mother I completely right. understand that and I completely understand I too. completely understood that you don't want them to get sick especially when they've already been sick and they almost lost their life so like I right. completely understand her worry like oh my god what if you bring this home and she gets sick again or what if you get sick you know what I'm saying like right like and you still like, gotta work you, you you just started a new job honey So it was just, I completely understood her worry, but I feel like her worrying was her downfall. Yes. And what she put her sister in, she knew better. But anyway, (laughs) we're going to get to it. We're going to get to it, okay? Uh, First, we have Mama Pal here on this here runway. What did you think of this little Kia? Uh, She should have wore that in the first episode because then it would have went with the the picture theme. This was amazing. Yes. I love every piece of this. Mama Great Pal. legs. Only thing I did not like about it was the little gold t-shirt thing underneath because it took away from the booby fantasy she usually gives. Oh, uh, okay. I see what you're talking about. But I still, I still like it. I still like it. We're joined by Callie Karen, Mama Jiggly Caliente, that bitch, what? and Patrick Starr. I love this. <laughs> that bitch. Patrick has on. <laughs> So the category is twinning. And we start off with Eva LaQueen and Luna LaQueen. Luna LaQueen. I didn't like this. The caftan. At all. I'm like, oh snap, she's gonna be lip syncing again. When I saw that, I'm like, oh damn it, Eva. I like you, girl. You need to get it together. But no. <laughs> Yeah, what did you think of the looks that Eva LaQueen and Luna LaQueen gave? Uh, you know, it was like I, I like the captain kind of, kind of. Mm-hmm. But these look kind of like off the rack. Which I don't even I, mind the off the rackness. It just the two looks didn't work together. They look like best friends instead of family (laughs) the makeup didn't really translate you could see that she was trying to do the evil Queen face on luna it just Mm -hmm. didn't work out Mm -hmm. i didn't i didn't care for this makeover at all i didn't up next is silhouette and shadow eight eight all the way Eight. Eight. eight and i love how they're like shadow for season two i'm like i will live for that yes I would live for that. And this was their first time in drag. I'm like, you better get it. Right. And I was like, was that some type of dig at Silhouette? Like, Silhouette refuses to put me in drag. <laughs> and baby, th- do you see the padding? Mm-hmm. I'm so happy to see padding on Silhouette. I'm like, wait a minute. What's going on? <laughs> I'm like, wait. I almost cried just seeing the padding. I'm like, see what just a little bit of padding does for you, Silhouette? I understand you you want to do like, but when the huh, I'm not saying every look, but when the look requires a little padding, honey, just give us a little padding, just a little bit. Right. Like this one required a little bit of padding and it looks so great. And then Shadow looks amazing. Yeah. Honestly, if Shadow was the same height as Silhouette, I wouldn't be able to tell them apart. At all. Because Silhouette did like a bomb.com job with the makeup. Did an amazing job, yes. The hair, the body. It's all only good. different. I, I think maybe they should have switched shoes that would have made them the same height. Maybe. Because like the, the heel was so much taller, but I'm assuming for this piece there so good (laughs) yes and like neither one outshined the other Mm -mm. Mm -mm. so good up next is marina summers 
and Mar- Marty Summers. I hope I'm Marty right. Summers. Marty Summers. Marites. I like this look. I really mm-hmm. feel like the judges were unnecessarily harsh on this look. Right. Talk they were about, like, it looks off the rack. It doesn't look couture. I'm like, that wasn't the category. The category right. is twinning. They need to look like they're from the same drag family. And they look like they're from the same, the drag, same family. drag family. It looks like Lemon Lime, 7 Up, Sprite. And it's just like they loved Eva Queens, but they didn't like this. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I, that confused the hell out of me. I don't know. I guess because one had titties and the other one didn't. I don't know. I, I don't know, but I, this is one of my favorites. Was it my top favorite? No, but this was one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I understood the story. I understood the moment. Like, this was, it was all great for me. Great. Mm-hmm. Even when her shoe uh, straps falling. Yeah, I tried not to get a screenshot with it falling, but it, it was hard not to. <laughs> like, look, look at that. Up next is Bridgetine and Tijetine. I thought this was really cute. I thought it was cute too. I, I was like, why are the judges being unnecessary hard on Bridgetine again? Because they wanted to get rid of her, I guess. And they're that's, like, oh, that's your cousin outshined you. I and I was just it. like, but where? Like, this was. Out, really look, because to me, to me, this was amazing because I'm telling you, cousin was not much walking in that door but after after i said oh look it's a woman and then they even said that uh tidgeting um overshadowed bridgeting and i'm like i didn't see that i felt like they were bouncing off each other extremely well yeah i didn't get outshining what does even... does one carry the makeup a little bit better yes but I didn't see nobody out shining. She sat there. She gave her cousin her shine. They did what they needed to do. I, I, I didn't. I disagreed. (laughs) Same. Up next is minty fresh and berry fresh. I don't. This was no. This was a no for me as well. Like both outfits are cute. Yeah. Both look amazing, but they don't look like they're part of the same drag family. They barely look like they're part of the same family. I, I think Minty's reluctance in her sister being there shows in the outfit and how the and makeup and everything kept making is done. Little smart rope remarks about what she's going to wear because there's an obvious size difference. Right. But I'm like, honey, we've seen you whip together some outfits. You could have made her something that match or you worn that and wore something that you know right you've seen it before people actually make the outfit because who walked into the door wasn't the same body shape or they didn't have anything you know Mm -hmm. carmen farella is a prime example oh my god carmen farella carmen her gave somebody else like oh no worry i'll just make two outfits real quick hold on look carmen farella gave another contestant her outfit and, and, and made her own outfit and still managed to win the challenge. And still managed to win the challenge. That is correct. Oh, sorry, that was my brother again. Um, up next is Precious Paula Nicole and Precious Chana Nicole. I love this. Oh my God, I cried when they were walking. I cried. I was like, this is so freaking adorable. This, this just, it warmed my heart just you can see how yeah. much they love each other and the right. fact that he had to travel nine hours to get there nine hours to get there nine nine it was the 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 nine hour trip and just hearing, was... and hearing their story on the main stage had me in tears yes and then the fact that he's like my brother is shy mm-hmm. and i'm like you could tell but He looked like he was enjoying so much of himself because you just made him feel like he was wanted there, regardless of whether you really just wanted him there. Like the juxtaposition between her and and Minty Fresh was just like, 
Yeah, because even she made a comment saying, oh my God, what am I going to put on him? But it was more right. of a ha way, not a, oh my God, look at her. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, but, and then look what came out of it. You made these two gorgeous flipping outfits. Yeah. And they complement each other perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. They do. So and, and you made them so that it fit your body, fit his body, look like something he would wear as, you know, and he looks like, and as soon as she was like, I saw my mother in his face and I looked, I said, you know what? You show right. It was, it was a very beautiful moment, but we have Should all of have our, one. No, but we have all the makeovers here. Who was oh. your favorite makeover looks? I mean, if I'm going off of emotion, it would be one, but if I'm being like for real, for real, I silhouette and shadow. Yeah, Silhouette and Shadow really did it for me. Um, I agree with their win. I think I would have done a double win this week, though. Right? I think I would have. I think I would have gave it to Precious and Silhouette this week. Be like, you're both winners. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what? Badges for both of y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Because one got my heartstrings and the other one just had me gagged. Yeah, I think I would have done a double win this week. But yes. our top I, all I know is the silhouette has at least a year or two to teach Shadow how to do their makeup <laughs> and how to sew an outfit together. And get Shadow on this show, honey. I don't know about season two, but I definitely know season three. Now, our top placements were Precious Paula Nicole, Silhouette, and Eva LaQueen. Our bottom placements was Marina Summers. Bridgeting and Minty Fresh. Do you agree? You know, I don't think Bridgeting needs to be there. Yeah. Here, here's what I would have done. I would have switched Eva Queen and Marina Summers. Put Marina high, Eva in the bottom. But by default, Bridgeting would have to be in the bottom three, but she didn't do bad. It's right. Just, I feel like Marina did better. So, like, I personally would have put the bottom two as Eva and Minty. Mm -hmm. Bridgeting would have to be low because, you know, these three just really did that. Mm -hmm. But my bottom, I think I would have put Eva LaQueen and Minty Fresh in the bottom two. Because, like, even looking at Minty, I'm not at Minty, but at Bridgeting and her, her, you know, stuff, it was like, like I see the cohesiveness they look like mother and daughter it you know it's just one's longer the other one's shorter somebody's got to wear the more comfortable outfit yeah. I, I don't disagree at all yeah I would have she would still have been low just by you know there's only six people here but she wouldn't have been in the bottom two this week uh-uh. but our winner is silhouette yes and our bottom two is Bridgeting and Minty Fresh. Yeah. Round two, bitches. Mm-hmm. One thing I I have a slight qualm with, I, and I'm pretty sure it's just um, makeup buildup. The the lace on these wigs, like bleach them, please. Here's the thing. On the main franchise, they put a filter. I'm not sure if you ever noticed, but there's a filter on a lot of their wig lines so that we don't see that. They don't right. do that for the Philippine Queens. No, they don't. Because if you really stare at some of the U.S. and All-Stars U.S., you can see the- I've seen some of their wig lines. Yeah, you can see the filter trying to hide that because, you know, but here in the Philippines, no. Y- y'all gonna see this, okay? <laughs> so they lip sync to Yosa by Yumi Lakasamana. Lakasamana. Let me tell you something. This song was added to the playlist. <laughs> it was. It really was. Mm-hmm. What did you think of this lip sync? <sighs> you know, I'm pretty sure Bridgeting turned it out 
that they just didn't show her. <laughs> yeah, the, it, it didn't show a lot of bridgeting, which makes me really think she was turning it. Mm -hmm. Um, I really enjoyed this lip sync. Honestly, I like this better than the double Shantae they had. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, dang it, if they would have just waited, this could have been it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because they both really turned. Oh, when she pulled out this uh, flag, I gagged. I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, when she pulled out the flag, I was like, okay, yeah, I guess you won. Uh -huh. So yeah, I agree. They didn't really show a lot of bridgeting, which makes me think she was doing a lot better than what they want us to see. And like, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. I get it. This is her third lip sync. So I had a good feeling she was going home. Because yeah. not too many queens make it past number three. Yes, unless you're in Holland. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's been a few American queens to make it past three. Um, Juju B had. I, I know, but not to the extreme as Abby. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. But yeah, but her. But she the, looks her like. Lip were terrible. Like, if they would have done another save for this, I would have been like, okay, we're enough with the double saves. But like, they both did a good job, unlike Abby, oh my God, and Mama Queen, who both should have went home after that lip sync because it was that terrible. Mm. but anyway uh, Mama Pal decides that Minty Fresh stays in the competition which means we must say goodbye to Bridget ding 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 that's okay honey I can see you getting on versus the world I can see you getting in front of RuPaul and RuPaul will live for you okay right I can see that now next week they're going to be doing a music video to RuPaul's song Champion Champion and baby, why do they got WWE title belts? Uh, right. And it's the toy ones too. It's not even like the expensive ones. They're the toy ones. <laughs> but my thing is, are they, is this going to be like them doing verses as well? Or is it just the music video? Mm. That's my question. You know me, I, I'm down for a remix. So hopefully they do get the right verses and that's part of the music video. But, uh -huh. you know, typically this is what we do in the final episode. So I'm I'm intrigued. What are we going to do for the final episode? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm intrigued. I, I'm, I'm sitting here like I'm sitting here and pondering the little noodle with it. Like, what are we going to do in this final episode if we're doing, if we're going to sit here and do this right now? You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. They can put rhinestones on them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of sad that Drag Race Philippines is getting ready to end. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad it's ending because, you know, there's a lot going on right now. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, I'm going to miss these queens. <laughs> right? Like, I've, I've really enjoyed this season. It's been one of my <laughs> favorites. I'm kind of torn in between this and Espanol, which one was my favorite for this year. But oh. that'll be a conversation for us to have later. <laughs> but our two week hiatus. Oh, oh yeah, on two week hiatus. Um, but yeah, um, I really enjoyed this episode. Um, I'm gonna miss Bridgeting again. I feel like they played in my good sis face this whole season. Mm -hmm. They were determined to humble her when she really didn't need it, in my opinion. But hey, Mabu, hey. Mabu, hey. Let's go ahead and wrap things up here. Lucretia, where can they find you on the social medias? You can find me at Cresha McGill. That's C-R-E-S-H-A-M-C-G-I-L-L -L on all social media. And you can find me on all social media platforms at Simply Desmond. It's S-I-M-P-L-Y-D-E-S-M-O-N-D. -E Thank you so much for spending a piece of your day with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow for our Drag Race UK review. Bye. Ooh.